Welcome to this little sit and chat. I hope the sound is okay and the lighting and everything. Um, I'm stitching on my supersized Max Color Secret Garden by Amy Stewart. And it is confetti hell, people. It is confetti hell. Um, I turned one of my lamps off because when I light it, the light starts to. Um, It's not going to work. Okay. Can I pull this closer? Yeah, we'll do. We'll do like this. Yes. So I'm on page one, of course. Um, and I'm um, parking, and I've just parked and stitched all the threads in this square, which is a 10 by 10. Uh, I'm stitching it on 25 count um, easy grid. Uh, yeah, so I have my complete DMC collection here to my right where I'm um, choosing threads from as I go. Uh, so it's going to take a while. So we'll see how, how far we will get in a, just a short while. And I have the fan blowing on me because it's hot. So, I hope it's not disturbing too much. So, where do I have it? I'm looking for the color 36, uh, 88. And I have it here. And I'm just going to do one whole stitch of this color. Uh, and earlier I did, I don't think I have to do that. I have already stitched that. I can see that now. That's just silly. Let's, let's start over. This is so typical. Sometimes I wonder what I'm thinking. Oh, how I can possibly mark off on pattern keeper in the wrong way. I just don't understand it sometimes. So instead, I'm going to find the color 3835. I know I have that color here. Um, here we have. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, I have parked the wrong threads in the wrong places and marked off stitches in the wrong places i just then you're glad then you're happy that it's just a big blur of different colors which are going to look like flowers <laughs> then it doesn't matter that much if you make a mistake here and there so, so which day do we have today? Um, it looks kind of dark. Can I? No, we'll just leave it. Um, yeah, it's the 23rd of June. And it's Wednesday. And on Friday, we have a holiday in Sweden. 
where we celebrate summer. They drink a lot, they sing a lot, they eat a lot, and they dance around a pole which they have dressed up in flowers. It's called the Midsummer, and it's a very typical Swedish tradition. It's like, I think it's as big as New Year's Eve, you know. Uh, but uh, my family, me, my husband, and my daughter, we really don't celebrate it like that. And since it's a holiday, I like to work, so I'm working that whole weekend. Um, yeah, so um, before I um, started, I like to start, oh, it's a mess getting through. with a loop stitch for one thread but when it's so con confetti heavy I find that a little bit difficult it's like the thread is bulking up a little bit in the back I don't know um, so I actually decided yeah and and I have it on a Q-snap on the Lowry stand so and, and there's so much fabric hanging around my legs uh, so I don't like to you know flip the Come on. Uh, flip the Q snap back and forth on the flower stand. So I decided actually to go with the method that Komari does on her Once Upon a Fairy Tale. She actually just leaves a tail. And um, once you made one stitch, it's secured, I guess. Uh, and uh, I'm trying that out. But instead, of course, you have some tails um, on the back of the fabric. So sometimes I pull them by mistake. It's not that it doesn't make a difference. It's just when I'm trying to catch the needle on the back of the work of the fabric, I, I pull one of those ends, uh, tail, end tails instead. Yeah, this piece here, I'm telling you guys, this is a challenge. Oh my God. I mean, I'm, it's not, there is a book there, one there and, and there, I think. But it's, it's not that easy to see. Now I don't know where I'm at. Where am I at? <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh my God. I'm just marking off on Pattern Keeper to just get a better, I think I stitched that, or there's a mistake there maybe, I don't know, let's just keep on with it. Uh, so yeah, I just got home from work and I actually biked home from work the first time this year. So my husband was sweet to throw the bike in the back of the car and he drove me to work. So I didn't have to take the bus home uh, from work today and I appreciated that a lot. But I'm, <laughs> I'm completely finished now. I haven't been exercising at all in quite a while. So, yeah, uh, but it's very nice afterwards when you get home, you know, you take the shower, you drink some water and eat something and you feel great. So now I'm done with that color. Now I'm going to find 30, 30, 11, and that one is here and that's just one stitch. So today, uh, I promised one of um, 
my viewers to show you how I stitch with the easy grid um, because as we all know uh, the gray lines no I mean not maybe not everyone knows but the people who has bought easy grid the people the stitchers who has bought easy grid um, know that the gray lines are not in between uh, stitches they actually hit stitches so between hold that thought okay so now I just left an end tail I didn't secure but now I made one stitch and I'm pulling the thread pretty hard and it's not getting loose so I think that's a great method I like it I didn't like it at first but now I like it anyway so where was I at yes between two of the can you see my fingers yeah between two of those gray lines uh, there's just nine stitches so you need to count the gray line as one stitch as well I think I talked about this last tube or the, the one before I don't know I, but I wanted to show that and I promised her some while ago that I was going to show so I need to do that so let's park this one over here there yep okay come on sometimes pattern keeper you have to you know touch it click on it quite a few times okay so now we're going to find a five five two I wonder if I have that here If I don't have it in my DMC collection, then I have I've taken that color to one of my projects. So I, then I need to go to, you know, find that project bag or organized box or whatever I'm using to store the thread for that uh, project and, and steal some thread from it okay so I threaded my needle and I go up from behind here from underneath not behind underneath and I just hold one of hold the ends between my fingers so I don't pull it through I will have to put a camera underneath my work so I can show properly how how I do but anywho and now let's do an extra stitch here this um, secret garden secret garden yes it is such a colorful colorful and happy stitch design it is so beautiful and you don't have to get a max color I just have it's so difficult not to go with the max color when you have the choice I, just, I don't know why I just even if you know confetti can be very tea sometimes it's just you know the reward or yeah the reward of putting in all those stitches and you get this amazing beautiful detail which I think makes it worth it even if I will never finish anything I 
find it worth it for whatever I get to stitch. I don't know. I'm just rambling as usual. Okay, so now that color was done. Now we're going to find 37, 27. It should be in this box. I see it. Here is like, uh, in Swedish we call it uh, old, old pink. I guess it's the kind of way pink looked like in the old days. I don't know. So, <clears throat> uh, I can't say it's all of Sweden, but at least where I work. Uh, around midsummer, week 25, 26, 26. So week 26, uh, the summer vacation for most people who has okay. How can I? We have to. I have to explain this. Uh, the summer, June, July, and August. So a lot of working places divides those that period up into from week 26 to week 34 so that's a period of eight weeks so they divide that into um, so you have four weeks vacation and then the other group goes for four weeks of vacation uh, I'm not saying all places have it like that but most places I have worked have it like that. So I was just going to do one stitch of that and there is nothing else around. So how do I end it? I end it with half a pin stitch. I find the place and I push my needle underneath, pull the thread through and I pull it a little bit so it hides underneath the weave. And then I'm done. Where's my scissors? Here. Like so. Anyway, so a lot of people goes on vacation. Plus, we have a lot of, you know, uh, uh, people uh, who are long term. Sick, to call call it that, yeah. Uh, too much stress and other stuffs happening, so we're not fully uh, what do you call it? I should uh, I shouldn't start talking about these things because I I I don't know all the words in in English. It's very difficult talk about it um, yeah it's going to be tough so uh, we're only three people and one plus one who's you know extra but aren't done with her education as a secretary um, And I'm still kind of new. One, two, three, four, five. Too much. So I still feel kind of new at work. I don't know everything. And then I feel very insecure. Um, so I'm expecting four weeks of hell in front of me. And I know my boss doesn't like when I say that, but that's how I feel. Let's not talk about work. That's so boring. Uh, so that was that. Now I need to find 37.22. And that color I did not have in the DMC collection. All right. So hopefully... I have it in this project. 
37.22. Please, 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 please. Yes, those lucky is here. Um, oh, my husband took his first vaccine today. And he told me later in the afternoon that he was feeling fine. It's just that he had a lot of pain in his arm. So hopefully it will just stay like that so he doesn't get sick. Some people get really sick. But that looks like I have stitched that one too. That's just silly. Let's mark it off and see if I can find a little place to park it one two and three so how will I do here um I think I will actually do a pin stitch here no, not a pin stitch. A loop. A loop start. Yeah, it's not so easy when you have all these park threads. I was actually con considering to not continue parking and just, you know, finish off all the threads. Um, So I stitched over there and then I'm gonna park it here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, and three. But at the same time, parking is for me it is very uh soothing it's a uh, real therapy for me i don't have to think you know which color should i take now which way should i stitch uh it's very easy just stitch the ones in the grid and park it as close as possible so i don't have to make decisions i think it's a lot about that um, seven seven nine. Seven seven nine. Oh, I was lucky. It's here. But yeah, yesterday I had been stitching on this uh, piece for two days. I was off two days after working uh, the weekend, and um. I was stitching about 1100 stitches in total of confetti. It's, everything's confetti. There's no blocks of color here. Um, and I felt done, you know. I was like, yeah, I don't think I have to stitch more uh, on this piece at the moment. Uh, I was ready to just take maybe soft steel and get some stitches into that background. But yeah, then someone on Instagram, I'm sorry I don't remember your name, a lady said, oh, so you're making a video soon. I was like, yeah, I could actually, you know, motivate myself to make a little stitch and chat and stitch on this piece. Maybe I will, you know, get a few more stitches in. And I always enjoy talking with you guys. Um, yeah, I've said it so many times before. It's because of you that, you know, it is so much fun to make these videos. And which makes me feel that I am not alone. I know I've said it so many times before. 
I'm actually sharing my love for cross-stitching with all of you who feels exactly the same, who doesn't think I'm crazy or not normal sitting for hours stitching, you know. Um, so I see I've done some mistake here as well. But nobody's going to know. To the one who will look at this piece will just see some purple stitches. So how can I cover this as good as possible? Let's do one. And lately, I have just one, two, three, four, five, six, one down. I have been so obsessed with Mirabilia again. Actually, stitched on my Lady of Mystery all weekend. It was so nice. Oh, and she's so beautiful, and I was looking at some of my, my Mirabilia's, and they're so beautiful. And I was looking at some new ones, and some old ones, and some out-of-print ones, and I'm like, they are not all of them. I don't like all of them, but I really want to collect them all. Yeah, I, I really seriously want all the Mirabilia's. I don't know why they they are so dear to me and there are so many of them that are so beautiful yeah so um well i all have already started collect collecting them i already have a little bit of a, a collection but i mean it's way off it's not even close to getting them all you know and there is quite some pricey out of prints ones so but so the next color is 38 38 37 uh, i told my husband i was kind of like you know um just giving him a heads up that i decided that i really want to seriously make a serious try to collect all the mirabilias um i said to him i know it's just a piece of paper for you but for me it's uh, something very special yeah um and he said well i understand that's fine just you know don't Go all in at once, you know. Take a little bit at a time. So, yeah. So, I'm looking forward to show you some haul next floss tube, which I need to make this weekend. So, maybe I will do it Monday because I'm off Monday, so then because I'm working extra Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So then I'm off, and then it's a bit easier to spend a few hours on making the YouTube and editing and all that. Uh, 317 is the next color. I know I have this one. It's just, I have six. Now you can see that. Can I see? Can you see? This is those uh, ah, organizing boxes, you know, where you have them stashed like this. I have six of them with my DMC collection behind, no, to my side here. Um, and no, I don't like working my projects like this. It just takes way too long. But, uh, yep, I just 
decided to do secret garden like this. So, uh, when I started secret garden for, I th is it last year? I think it's last year. I think it's last year I started. I was like, oh, I need to stitch flowers and gardens and something colorful and joyful. So, I got myself the Super Size Max color. Yeah. And I think I stitched like just the top row and I was like, uh, no, thank you. I'm not going to park this project. This is hell. S seriously, hell. No, I was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to stitch it. I'm just going to use the fabric for something else. Um, And then at some point, Secret Garden came up on my spinning wheel. So I was like, okay, well, okay, I will give it another chance. And then I enjoyed it so much. I really liked it. So then I decided, well, I will stitch on it whenever it comes up on that wheel. And it did again. I don't know what's up with that wheel. It chooses the same same things over and over and over again. Uh, I'm parking it here. Uh, but not much have, has happened. I, I fixed my bike. I'm very happy about that. Next color is. 3787. Uh, yeah, I love my bike. So I'm very glad I got to do that. So now I need to get biking. It's just, you know, when I bike to work, the last kilo kilometer, I think it's just about a thousand meters you know and it's just uphill all the way up to the hospital and I swear when I was running and stuff I was finished when I took that hill up and now I haven't been exercising so I like I have no condition whatsoever so I'm so scared because I need to take the bike to work, not just from away from, you know, from work and home. I need to go from home to work. But that hill is going to kill me. Oh, my God. But I need to do it. I need to do it. But I'm afraid I'm going to get a heart attack or pass out, you know. God. But it's a healthy way to go to and from work. Then you don't have to think about exercising when biking 10 kilometers uh, to work and 10 home every day. You know. Um, I think I'm going to park it here. No, I'm going to park it in the top but there's already a part spread there oh it's going to be underneath it all right oh what else what else oh are you guys watching uh the handmaid's tale oh my god i think how many episodes do we have now? We're on season four. I think you're on season four as well, out there in the world. Um, I think, can it be episode nine? No, I don't know. But it's Wednesday today. So today there is a new episode. Woohoo! I love that show. Oh, I love it. It's so freaking cool. I love June. She's a badass. 
Oh, and I, oh, I'm so curious on how it's going to end. Do not write that in the comments. I don't want any spoilers. <laughs> yeah. And what else? Uh, oh, Grace Anatomy. I love Grace Anatomy. We have season 17 in Sweden. And there's a new episode every Friday. And oh, I just love this season where you get to see all the old characters are coming back for a visit. Oh, yeah. But I mean, it's so depressing. It's like I'm crying in every damn episode. If it's not something sad, it's something happy. And you're just crying and crying. Oh my god, yeah. So, uh, I mean, the group virtual stitchers, and I still haven't um, worked up the courage to join one of the Zoom meetings. I don't know when they have Zoom meetings. I once the first time I was in there, then they kicked me out because I wasn't active. I, I was alone for hours. I was like, okay, well, let's just jump out again. And we have meetings with our Soul Stitch retreat in Sweden. And I wish I could just talk like I'm doing now, you know. But as I said before, it's like I'm talking to myself, so I'm not feeling that embarrassed or shy so I wish I just could work up the courage a little bit but that I'm, I'm like that when I don't know people once I get to know people like for example my friends at work I I don't have anything holding me back there <laughs> like yeah I, I just uh, I, I can talk a lot and my goal is to make people laugh. That's that's what I like the most. Uh, so anyway, uh, the next color is 208. It's a nice purple color. There's a lot of purples in this grid. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm, I'm trying to hurry a little bit so it's not going to take hours to finish these stitches, you know. Oh, I can hear Billy, my dog, the one who barks once. Yeah, he's out there in the at the front door growling. Somebody's in the stairs. Okay, we have four more stitches to do and it's four different colors. Yeah. 209. Here it's another purple color, but in another shade. Oh, and uh, I noticed I say that a lot. Oh, oh, here and oh, there. Anyway. Was any of you on at attending StitchCon? Oh my god. That would be like, maybe not the biggest dream, but that would be like a dream come true to be able to attend StitchCon and meet all the YouTubers, no floss tubers, and meet Pam and Steph. Oh. I would like that so much. Oh, and some of them has been doing some lives from there, and some has done some done some interview video. 
not too much, but, uh, you know, I, I have just enjoyed those videos. It, you know, gives a, a feeling of that I was there too. So nice. I have really enjoyed them. Um, uh, Brenda, uh, the hand work handwork ma handwork maniac anyway uh brenda she uh set out one short video saying that she's working on her video after a stitch con but that we could go watch uh like uh, a little interview with her and some sufi friends it was so nice really so nice um Five, two, two, ten. Let's do ten. Hey, it's another purple, but in another shade. Ha, huh, amazing. How could one know that there are so many different shades of purple within the grid of a hundred stitches? Was it there? Yes. Amazing, amazing. And on the 1st of August, me and Kat is starting the stitch along with the amazing Animal Kingdom. Both Kat and I, Kat and I, has chosen the Super Size Max Colors. Surprise! I was a little bit surprised that, that Kat actually chose that too. But she's going to start in the middle. It's going to look so cool. It's going to be so good. Uh, I'm planning on still starting in the right bottom co corner. The next color I'm stitching with is 554, which I don't have in the collection. Let's see if we have it elsewhere. Yep. Lucky me. Here is another shade of purple. Um, but what I want to say is that if you guys want to stitch along on this stitch along for the rest of your life, if you choose the big one, um, please join us. The start is the 1st of August. Um... And we have a tag. It's just very difficult to say it. The tag is Ambitious, Amazing Animal Adventure. So it's four A's in a row, right? Uh, but I would like to say the Ambitious, Amazing Animal Kingdom Adventure. But we want the flow in the A's, right? So it is ambitious, amazing animal adventure. Yes. We just need to say it a hundred times. Then it's going to flow like water. So please join us. If you have a mini, if you have a super size, if you have the regular, you know, come join us. Use the hashtag. I would like to say triple A, but it's not. It's quatre A four A's or just write the whole thing ambitious it's a hashtag ambitious amazing animal adventure um, okay I'm just gonna park this thread in this thread jungle Jesus, how am I going to uh, oh we have one already parked over there damn And we have, I have no other place to park it on the whole page. Okay, fine. I will end it. I will end it. The relationship with 554 is over for now. Yeah. I'm ending with the pin stitch. Come see, come see.
It's so difficult to do this on this. Uh, uh, on this fabric. I find it easier on the f fabrics that aren't pre gridded. I don't know. So I'm taking a thinner needle. There we go. Um, yes, and even if you have already started it, of course, I think that's okay. Yeah, of course that's okay. Everyone is allowed to join. I think so. I don't know. Cat, if you're watching, is it just for the new starters? Maybe. Yeah. So there is a Facebook group uh, with the Amazing Animals uh, group. So maybe you're like me. You have been stalking the group. Right there. Okay. Um, uh, it, it was my daughter. She wanted to order some clothes from her birthday money. Uh, yeah, so maybe you're like me, that you have been stalking this group and just looking at all the amazing whips they have over there. And thinking, should I start it or not? Should I start it or should I not? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, then you have a great opportunity to start the most amazing, amazing project together with everyone across the world who wants to start it, of course. And I know some of you has already mentioned it uh in the was it a floss tube i mentioned it i think so uh well one of the later videos i made um some of you have said that you want to start it with us so go ahead there's like a bit more than a month left to go kit up make sure you have you know the threads for at least one page because it's going to take some time to stitch that page and join us. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be so cool. So we're at the last stitch and still we, we have only stitched with this one stitch. It's going to be like 45 stitches in total in what an hour. Yeah. Okay, 30, 42. Please let. Yeah, I'm lucky. So it's a grayish purple. She's eating all the ice cream. Imagine if we could all meet on a big stitch retreat how much fun would that be huh it would be so great to meet all the stitchy friends oh And that was just one thread as well. So we have finished the grid and now I'm just going to show you. Oh, I'm sorry if you have to wait to all the end of the to the end of the video to see how you how I stitched within the grid. Oh, I'm so bad. I will show it more times. I promise. 
I would also like to now it's just a lot of ideas okay but I think it would be cool to show you every time I do a new special stitch on my Chatelaine to show you how I do it how I have un you know uh, interpreted inter understood the, the stitching uh, information on how to make like a Jessica stitch or a, an, a, a Jolly, ugh, an Algerian eyelet or something or rice stitches you know I think that would be nice um, or maybe how I do the beading or, I don't know it was just an idea anyway okay so now that grid is done Yay me and yay you for keeping me company. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. So we have a new grid here. I'm just I'm trying to look in the camera view. So we have, I mean seriously, can you see? That's just part thread. It's going to fill most of the grid with just the stitches of all the part threads. So, this thread is just to the left of the gray grid. You can see that the grid is going here, like there. So my first stitch always starts in the first hole underneath the gray line and just to the right side of the gray line. So that's my number one. And then we count 10 stitches, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when we get to nine, the next, the tenth and last stitch will be on the next gray line. I hope you understand that. But a last thing, uh, I've always started when I do the parking method. I always start, you know, I take the first thread that's in the grid, like as if you were reading a book top left corner and down but Ninja Needle taught me another way of doing this when you have that many threads it's difficult to you know find where should I stitch I need to move all the thread she said you just lift the threads up like this and you start from the other side because my part thread is always the first symbol in the grid from the top you know so i know that if i pick this thread in the bottom there won't be any stitches over here that is a really cool method and that has helped me a lot especially in on this project where i have so many part threads so that's how i do i just start from the bottom I choose the symbol on Pattern Keeper. Stitch. There's four, four stitches of this color. I was, my plan was to show you this this video, but then I saw that my I have already stitched all the part threads in the grid we just finished, so I'm sorry. I will I will do another video. I know I'm going to stitch on Once Upon a Time soon again, so I can show you then. Anyway, so now I stitched the four stitches. And then 
I just parted in the first uh, what you call it hole where the symbol is uh, coming right so then I take the next one and here I, I don't need to consider which symbol I should stitch I just take the first one which is in line you know so there's only one stitch of this color here and of course there is nothing to park there's actually one over here let's park it here Next one is this one, and I love this is the way I love to stitch. This is my happy place. There was only one. I'm gonna park it on the in the grid underneath. One, two, three, and four. And then go over here and take the next. So when you have pat paper patterns, this is also a very good way to not, you know, go all crazy uh, because then you don't have pattern keeper to highlight everything. You have your eyes has to do all that work. So yeah, just a little shad and I usually don't have that much to say about why. Oh. But I just want to to say to all of you that you are so very much appreciated you cannot oh yeah as I say sometimes it feels like I'm not worthy of of all the love and friendships and everything you give to me and I hope I can give you back some of what you give me. Um, as I said again, you make me feel not alone, that I have someone to share this great, amazing hobby with. And that means a lot to me because I don't have anyone else to talk with about cross stitching so it's so appreciated thank you thank you thank you and I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you guys I hopefully Monday I think I will. I usually do it Monday if I'm off Monday. Um, so I will do floss to what is it now? Is it 36 maybe? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Numbers, it doesn't matter. And then I will show you the past two weeks uh, whips and some haul and someone very nice bought me some coffees and I'm going to shout her out um, and we're going to talk a little bit about plans we're going to talk a little bit about enchanting enchanted 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 stitching I just joined the group so I'm going to talk a little bit about that and I can talk 
a little bit more about that in my next stitch and shed. That's a good one. I can talk a little bit about that. Anyway, guys, please take care. Have a good weekend. And uh, I should just stop talking. I'll let you guys get back to stitching. I guess you're already stitching while listening to me rambling. And uh, now I'm just, I'm just going to say bye. Take care. See you all. Bye.